around you are seeking with you. Now, seeking to understand hey, this, again, there's tons of information, but it's not the information that you're looking for. You have access to all that. It's the wisdom that you're looking for. And wisdom isn't written in words. Wisdom, the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment, the quality of being wise. Perception and discernment and judgment and having the foresight it can't be wisdom is how you digest understand and manifest those words and how they are coupled with the spirit that you use to truly question and analyze and seek answers and say father is could that be and he'll show you one who seeks will find one who knocks it'll be open so this is the interesting part and i want to i want to i'm going to go back hmm. i mean contemplate this pit And so that's that's how you get to the underground, just like that. All you got to do is have the. I believe so. One who seeks will find. One who knocks, it'll be open. You might ask yourself, why would you want to knock? on a door that looks like it's leading to hell in the midst of a garden next to a tombstone i mean a a grave hey click you down there i think he's down the he's down the road a little bit the dragon just a little too hot See, this guy's walking just, you know, with the Bible in his hand, and a dragon spiritually is, atta is attacking him. Like the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant. So yeah, it's been a very, very difficult two months. I I'm sure, but I really just want to and, um, uh, talk about, first of all, uh, I apologize that we haven't been here as much as we should. And uh, that's been just because we're... Uh, probably going through very much the same things that you're going through and let me turn these lights down just a bit so aiming it at the dragon just a little too hot so yeah it's been a very very difficult two months I, i'm sure that all of you have uh, experienced and witnessed what has taken place in the world. I don't need to give you those updates. Uh, although I would say that uh, if you're exclusively looking for your content and learning to understand what is going on in the world and you're using, ex you know, exclusively YouTube, well, you're not going to know anything about what is going on. Uh, YouTube is not making anything really available and neither is the mainstream media. They're going to tell you exactly what they, that, what they need to tell you way shape or form so you have to find the truth and that's why one that seeks will find so concerned about that they've completely lost their instructions from christ because that's the entire point of, that christ was making and i want to say hello uh, again here is from christ because that's the entire point of, that christ was making and i want to say hello uh, again here is dave olson in the chat dave is a very very good friend of mine it's it's incredible that i have in the chat i have a former inmate that served time with me and a former prison guard actually still a prison guard i love him he's just the greatest guy ever he's a sweet man and uh he's a he's a terrific person so and uh let me see you uh rachel kneebone i'm good to see good to see you here rachel <laughs> so rachel was a biblical figure found predominantly in Genesis, who was best known for unsuccessful attempts to have children, but eventually gave birth 
to two sons. Rachel was the favorite of Jacob's two wives and the mother of Joseph and Benjamin, two of the twelve forebearers of the tribes of Israel. What is the significance of Rachel in the Bible? Accomplishments of Rachel in the Bible. Rachel gave birth to Joseph, one of the most important figures of the Old Testament, who saved the nation of Israel during a famine. She also bore Benjamin and was a high or was a faithful wife to Jacob. So Joseph Joseph saved the nation of Israel. Israel. She also bore Benjamin. What's coming? Well, what is all of this? I said, time is short, time is short, time is short. Well, guess what? Time is over. Time is done. You no longer have time. The critical aspect of where you are at right now in where two, then where four, then where five, then not two, then to get vaccine, not, not, what, what? Astray. Well, you know who you could call a false, false prophet? Is it Why are people snagging this $89 portable AC? I recently discovered how to refrigerate things. Well, locusts from the pit, everyone since the beginning of time, everyone is coming out. That's what's coming. I guarantee it. Kill Devil Hills was about that. Now it's time for the Kill Devil Hills testimony. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Let's get her done. All right, here we go. Release it. Release the Kraken. Get it? The Lord told me it's coming. Guaranteed. That's why I'm the vampire sunglasses guy. Vision. Just like Roddy Piper and they. I'm. They've been cannibalizing. They, he drew my attention to it because my truck is identical. To it because <clears throat> now think about this. Think about the whole, the whole vampire thing. See, they've been vampiring since the beginning of time. They've been cannibalizing the angels since the beginning of the world. Where'd all the energy go? Well, it's been stored up somewhere down in the pit. They're going to release it. Release the Kraken. Get it? Fall away and betray one another and hate one another. Jeez. Are we there? And many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. Well, you know who you could call a false, false prophet? 
No, there's that little guy with the glasses that told you not to wear a mask, then to wear a mask, then to wear two, then to wear four, then to wear five, then not two, then to get vaccine, not, not, what, 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 all of that. The Lord told me it's coming, guaranteed. That's why I'm the vampire sunglasses guy, vision. Just You could call a false, false prophet. No, there's that little guy with the glasses that told uh, Property knowledge to help him. However, financially, it's not something I'm I'm going to even think about doing. But I told him I would help him and show him the pitfalls uh, because of the knowledge I have from previous Vlad Eyewear business. So if I hear something and it's not 100% accurate, I stop. And so I'm doing that right now. So. Or it could be a guy running a country in the Middle East or one in the north. When this sound rang out, the crowd came together and was heard for now. When this noise was abroad, which the words cannot mean speaking for speak, AV this sound, the question still remains whether the sound refers to the sound of the rushing mighty wind mentioned in verse 2 or the voices of those who spoke in tongues. On the way to the upper room sermon. On the way to the upper room introduction, the small group of men that had followed Jesus around for about three years stood and watched as Jesus disappeared up out of their sight as he began to as he began his trip back to heaven and the right hand of the Father. So you can see where this is where this is heading, where Jesus is is going taking a trip back it says back to heaven so there's a literal trip going back to heaven with a literal Jesus going back to where he came from but the reality is Jesus is going back to heaven where he came from because he came from the spirit into hell and then he's going back to to heaven which is it's when all the all the all the things stop and they continue on from where he began before before he went into hell or one in the north or one that has a larger country that's communist Who? Who? Okay, who? Are the false prophets. Okay. So who are the false prophets? What about what? What, me? I, really? I didn't say it. I don't think so. You said who, not what. What is on second? Who is on first? Who is down the road from, from what? See, what's here is one. It's one, it's north, and it's heard abroad. So being 120 in this upper room somewhere in this building makes sense. Definitely makes sense. It's on North Broad Street, one north. And so who would be the false prophets, false prophets? Well, who, who is down here? Who is down here? The serpent rising up from the sea, the beast, the wounded head. The dragon stood on the shore of the sea. And I saw a beast coming out of the sea. It had ten horns, seven heads, with ten crowns on its horns. 
and on each head a blasphemous name. The beast I saw resembled a leopard, but had feet like those of a bear. Because everything I showed you was laying Satan's kingdoms bare. And a mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. One of the heads of the beast, it seemed to have a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. So don't worry about the wound, it's healed. But is it healed because of a cleansing or is it healed because it's the beast and it's it's it you know you can't you can't stop the beast the dragon gave the beast his power will be increased the love of many will go cold but the one who endures till the end will be saved the one that endures till the end now what does the end mean your end whatever that is it's not the end of the activities. Um, you go your way. And if it is, well, then the you're going to get there. You but if it's your rest. end, well, then you're going to be prepared and, and you're you going to be there. Arise with your you're going to keep your peace. You will have your crown. Because when you're gone from here, trust me, this is the exit. This is the narrow gate. The number one, so this begins the trip folder, but I'm going to go to the end of the trip folder right here. And I put some pictures here. And here we go. The meaning of Marshall. The word Marshall means servant, and it means a high royal official. Okay. I had no idea any of this. Uh, you're you're looking at the horse, the guy on the horse, right out front of the Philadelphia Art Museum. That is a chief. His name's John Marshall. It'll take longer to go search certain things, so I'll just say it. Just remember, it's going to be like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Okay, the word marshal means a servant, a high royal official. Okay, let me show you what the number 614 means. Because this is going to come into play. 614, uh, I'm going to show you exit 614. See how 1260 days. June 13th, midnight, June 14th, 6.14, the exit. Why would this be the exit, though? What, is this, what does this matter? December 31st, 2017. Well, that's when Derek started. Uh, not, that, not, not that, like, I'm saying that uh, Derek's, like, time is up on 6.14, just because it, just because um, it's 1260 days, not saying that, but it is 1260 days, and June, June 14th, 14, is an exit. It's an exit for somebody. And then I'm going to show you the meaning of 614 in the Bible. Because here's here's the, the mindset. It's like, well, Derek started that YouTube channel. And um, so you would think, like, the way it goes. But uh, maybe he was hired to, to, you know, act for 42 months. But what if it's the other way around? What if somebody else was hired by someone who started on that YouTube platform and there's there's the dragon that gave power, gave the beast his power, and his throne in great authority. And one of his heads, one of the heads of the beast seemed to have a fatal wound. Well, this word says seemed to have a fatal wound. It does. It had a fatal wound. But the fatal wound had been healed. It's healed by Christ's heel that stomped his head. They gave him the deadly wound, but healed at the same time. 
the whole world was filled with wonder and followed the beast. People worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast. You don't want to be around for this next cycle of things. Not knowing what you know. Unclean people. So here's a dragon. Here's a dragon. The whole world was filled with wonder and followed after the beast. People worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast. So they worshipped the dragon. And they also worshipped the beast and asked, Who is like the beast? Who can wage war against it? The bigger version of you? <laughs> this is a guy, uh, I love you guys in Christ. We're at the doorstep. We are... Obviously. And I'm here to lay down my life for the well-being of all the sheep. The beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemies and to exercise its authority for 42 months. It opened its mouth to blaspheme God and to slander his name and his dwelling place and those who live in heaven. It was given power to wage war against God's holy people and to conquer them. And it was given authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. I'd be like, I gotta lay down. I was like, okay. So yeah, yeah. So I went and traded in the Royal Enfield for a triumph because the Royal Enfield, the, we're, the, we're royalty folks. That's why that song by Lord. There's going to be so many intersections. So the Royal Enfield, the, we're, the, we're royalty folks. And it was given authority over every tribe, people, nations, language, and, language and uh, nations. All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast. All whose names have not been written in the books, the Lamb's Book of Life. The Lamb who was slain from the creation of the world. Whoever has an ear, let him hear. If anyone goes into captivity, into captivity they will go. If anyone is to be killed with the sword, with the sword they will be killed. This calls for patience, endurance, and faithfulness on the part of God's people. Within a, a week or so after I was released, because they arrested me for nothing. And they had to release me. Once I got out, I was at the Marriott Courtyard in San Antonio. I went to Walmart and I walked in and I, I could see everything. And it, I was just like, what in the hell? And I just... The beast out of the earth. Then I saw a second beast coming out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, but it spoke like a dragon. Two ways of seeing this. There's two twins over here, and they're speaking as if they're like Christ, but really a dragon. Or you're looking at it as the second beast, that, the one that crushed the head of the serpent, the second beast coming up out of the earth. It had two horns like a lamb, because that's what it, it came in like a lamb, and, and then, but it spoke like a dragon. It's like the, you know, you can only turn your cheek so many times until you get tired of getting slapped. It exercised all the authority of the first beast on its behalf. And made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast, whose fatal wound had been healed. It's clear that the wound is... The head of the serpent, the, the head of it, it crushed the head, like the, the, there's the head of 
Christ. There's the head of Satan. There's the head. And then there's the body of Christ and the body of Satan. And the head was crushed by the heel. And ironically enough, that's why Christ's heel stopped the head because his heel also healed it. It's, it's like, you know, double meaning. And it performed great signs, even causing fire to come down from heaven to the earth in full view of people. Well, Christ, had the words that proceeds out of his mouth is fire as well in front of people. And they also can create, perform great signs, causing fire to come down from heaven. They can do that too. Because of the signs it was given to perform on behalf of the first beast. It deceived the inhabitants of the earth. Well, God sends a strong delusion, right? And people are deceived. It's not that God is deceiving people the other way looking at it on purpose. It's just the fact that they're blind and they can't see, so they're being deceived. Because they're, if they're like talking lies about somebody, they're, they're being deceived. Uh, in order, it ordered them to set up an image in honor of the beast who was wounded by the, by the sword and yet lived. The second beast was given power to give breath. So the second beast was given power. Power was given over to the second beast in order to give the breath of life to Adam to the image of the first beast. Because if that first beast woke up because of the, the beating, then and then it also gets breath, well, breath is life. So that the image could speak and cause all who refuse to worship the image to be slain. You know why Christ had holes in his nails through his palms of his hands? Because his hands were holy. It also forced all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hands or in their forehead so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark which is which is the name of the beast or the number of its name in the upper room there were a couple of disciples um, there were 12 of them but there were two of them right next to Jesus, one on either side of him. One was named John, one was named Judas. Jesus loved John, and Jesus loved Judas. John was keeping himself in that love of Jesus. Judas was not. Well, you better be careful when you start throwing stones, folks. A lot of people like to run their mouth about other people. I've heard a lot of stuff about me that's not true. Just notice. F-I-S-H. John, next to Jesus, leaned in, leaned his head on the bosom, on the, on the breast of Jesus, to be close to his heart. He was keeping himself in the love. Judas was in that room next to Jesus with an umbrella. He was not keeping himself. In fact, he was plotting how he was going to leave and lay his hand on Jesus to betray him to the Roman government. Jesus loved them both. Right here, kite, right here. Song right here, it's in the show notes. That song. You too. Benjamin Franklin. He's flying his kite. Jesus loved them both. One was keeping himself in the love of God. One was not keeping himself 
in the love of God. So simple thought, be occupied or even preoccupied with the thought that God loves you. Let that thought dominate your life. Remind yourself of that frequently. For we find that conditions for falling away are, were never better than they are today. Lord, I pray that uh, you would raise up faithful men and women who proclaim and teach and instruct and disciple. I was given a reed like a measuring rod and was told, go and measure the temple of God and the altar with, it, with its worshipers. But exclude the outer court. Do not measure it because it has been given to the Gentiles. They will trample on the holy city for 42 months. I will appoint my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1260 days, clothed in sackcloth. What is sackcloth? Well, it's usually, it's like the color black. So if you see anybody wearing black all the time, they are the two olive trees and the two lampstands. There's two lampstands. Shipping containers. The song right here, it's in the show notes. That song right there. Just go look at you just go look at the just go look at the lyrics for Kite. Associated that with six fourteen. And they stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouths and devours their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. They have power to shut up the heavens so that it will not rain during the time they are prophesying. They have power to shut up the heavens. Shutting up the heavens as in shutting them up in the spiritual realm so it doesn't rain like what kind of two witnesses are these automatically you look at it, oh well they're good witnesses they're they're good witnesses what if they were evil what if they were good and evil what if they were both and they had the ability to not only make like stop the truth from happening as they're prophesying what is a prophecy they're telling you what's going to happen. And then I have a prophecy. I'm going to take a, a, a sip of my drink in five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Prophecy just came true. So that it will not rain during the time of their prophesying. And they have power to turn the waters into blood. And to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they will. How about that virus that's happening right now? But they also have power to shut up the heavens. And they have the ability to make it not literally rain if they wanted to control the actual weather itself. Like, for instance, if you're on one side of the fence and then there's people are on the other side of the fence and then one side of the fence it rains and then the other side it doesn't that means that somebody had power was given like the authority to have that happen that way you can believe what just happened like wow I, I mean I, I can only imagine even just seeing even knowing that that is the case just seeing that happen would be pretty mind-blowing and then when when you're doing like a video and you're over in another country and when you look up the right time and then lightning strikes down in your video as you're talking about how angry you're getting then that must mean that even even you also you know the controller of the, the that can 
actually control the, uh, the lightning from happening. So they have power to shut up the heavens so that it will not rain during the time of their, the time that they are prophesying. So when are they prophesying? 1260 days. There's an exit, 614. But there's also a time of 42 months because that's, they will trample on the holy city because it has been given to the Gentiles. The Gentiles, they will trample on the whole, well, who, who is they? The Gentiles or the two witnesses? Now, when they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will attack them and overpower and kill them. The beast and the false prophet were thrown alive into the lake of fire. Their bodies will lie in the public square of the great city, which is figuratively called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from every tribe, people, language and nation will gaze on their bodies and refuse them burial. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate by sending gifts each each other gifts because these two prophets had tormented those who live on the earth. But after three days and a half the breath of life from God entered them. So after three and a half years, the breath of life enters into them from God, and they stood on their feet. So after three days and a half, the breath of life from God entered them. What happened when Adam had the breath of life breathed into him? Well, he became a living soul. These two witnesses, after three and a half days, the life of God was entered into them. So after the entire period of three and a half years, the breath of life, at the, like at the end, you, it happens somewhere during in between, but at the very end, you can say, those two have the breath of life in them. And they stood upon their feet. And terror struck those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud while their enemies looked on. Now that's just one interpretation of the two witnesses. And like how it, how it can manifest that way. At that very hour there was a severe earthquake and a tent that a city collapsed. 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake, and the survivors were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second 9-11 has passed. I mean, the th second woe has passed. The third woe is coming soon. The seventh trumpet. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet. Let you know that uh, everybody is safe and everybody is doing well. And um, the seventh also, trumpet, it's it's amazing just is hearing about from to everybody blow. today. Uh, the um, as I've always said, the, uh, the November 30th, 2018. You still got his back, or have you figured out he is carrying the Leviathan spirit? Well, I've been looking for Leviathan and to find his spirit in whichever person it's in. Well done. I love GW. Been following for a while, and Derek comes across to me as a loving, caring person. It seems if you're a spiritual person, caring, forgiving, and peaceful, and say that on YouTube, you end up becoming a prophet. LOL. No, you're a person giving love to everyone that's. What's wrong with that? Nothing. It seems that there are a lot of evil people that love to hate, 
And everyone that spouts about love, peace, kinship is a nutty prophet. No wonder Jesus had a hard time and, and nothing has changed. It seems the good people in this world are going to have a tough time. Well, I love everyone. I love you and all your peace-loving, caring prophets out there. I got quite, quite some Global Witness closed down Monument Park. The other day, didn't he? Is this the same guy? I really thought it was you putting on a voice. Uh, my first, bro. You, you're good at this. Thanks. Thanks, Double O. What did I say? Thanks. I listened to the whole video. He was kicked off the land and all the people who went, at least a hundred or so. The good Navajo Indians invited him there. But the government, Nava Indians, sell out. Wait, did I write this? Sell out. Kick them off public property. Plus, Global, Global Witnesses, another person, SJD, is attacking as a false prophet, which confirms even more that he's not. I hear what he says and I understand clearly, which makes us both false prophets, apparently. Baseaholic. Yeah, um, Robin, you're spot on. Godspeed. Can someone please tell me, did Jesus die on the cross for our sins? My re research says he did not. Well, he told you to pick up your own cross. Literally died? No. Spiritually? Um, yeah, because it was. it's what he had to do in order for that to work out. Has like a zillion commenters. Yeah, it's amazing. Starting a YouTube channel from thin air, just gathering, finding people, and talking about things, and and then catching fish, and and then at you know at first Derek liked it because I was cracking him up, but then after that I understand it's like sh shut up, stupid. Not even funny anymore at all. You're funny for the first second. So the seventh angel sounded this trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah. And he will reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who were seated on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, we give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were angry, and your wrath has come. The time has come for judging the dead and for rewarding your servants, the prophets, and your people who revere your name, both great and small, and for destroying those who destroyed earth. Then God's temple in heaven was opened, and within his temple was seen the Ark of his Covenant. And there came flashes of lightning, rumbles, peals of thunder, an earthquake, and a severe severe hailstorm. Uh, hail then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven. He was robbed, he was robbed in a cloud with a rainbow above his head. His face was like the sun, and his legs were like fiery pillars. He was holding a little scroll, which lay open in his hand. He planted his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, and he gave a loud shout like a roar of a lion. When he shouted, the voices of the seven thunders spoke, and when the seven thunders spoke, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven say, Seal up what the seven thunders have said, and do not write it down. That reminds me of going from what happens on YouTube stays on YouTube. What happens anywhere else stays anywhere else. Okay. I had no idea. Any of this, uh, you're you're looking at. Just remember, it's going to be like a Quentin Tarantino movie. 
Okay, the word marshal means a servant, a high royal official. Okay. And it says, and this gospel kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. Well, that's what we're doing now. Right now. This gospel is being preached throughout the entire world right now. It's being shared with those that can reach the ends of the earth, and then the end will come. Right this minute. At this moment in time. How could that happen? You're a conspiracy theorist. You're crazy. You're nuts. You're the devil. Well, here we are. And what do you do with that? Become angry, lash out, join Antifa, join BLM, burn something down. I, I get it. This is parabolic, folks. Let's not think about history. So will the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in a field, one will be taken. Yep. The one that was taken was intrigued or interested. A taking evening gown. Two women will be grinding in the mill. One will be taken and one left. Now, you know what great signs and great wonders to me is? When somebody does something so emboldened that the world totally ignores. Well, he must have power. He must have some godly presence or somebody's on his side, certainly. Think about this. I'm going to be doing more of these shows, more videos. I am doing TikToks because they're very quick to do. Very quick. I mean, they, they don't take up time and, and I can just put those pieces. So go because you, these are the little pieces that if you want to start a conversation with somebody, you can send them those. And the best part about TikTok is the videos yeah, that you're I'm looking at, that. many of them will go down quickly. Emotional attachment to sides, etc. Any emotional attachment to wrongdoing and right doing. And just sit in that neutral space of the field a moment and hear this. So it's Israel, Benjamin Franklin flying a kite and a dragon, whales. I do want to take all of that out. You know, Rumi said something. Out beyond your ideas of wrongdoing and right doing, there is a field and I'll meet you there. That field is the only place that this problem and problems like it in our human journey can be solved. And so I'm going to say, let go of any emotional attachment to this story, any emotional attachment to sides, etc., any emotional attachment to wrongdoing and right doing. Gematria, just to give you a little quick look here. What does that say? What is, is that number right the there? God of Israel. What is that number right there? And how about that one right there? Interesting. Basketball man, Michael Bloomberg, the red horse, God birth code, Lord himself. Be careful, God of Israel. And all of these things are related to this. So I just wanted to put that in your head. So again, this is what TikTok Part three does. Coming soon. These quick little videos, that quick little, little piece yeah, that you can show somebody, boom. Boom, right there, God of Israel. Just, it's as clear as it can possibly be. And all of a sudden that can send you in an area where you then can, then reading the scriptures and understanding things the way that you need to understand them for clarity. But you don't need to go out and gather a ton of information. The goal for you is, is to be as within Christ as you can, which means separating from this world. Walking over to the microphones, let's listen to President Biden. 
folks, I've just spent throughout this conflict. The United States fully supports Israel's right to defend itself against indiscriminate rocket attacks from Hamas and other Gaza-based terrorist groups that have taken the lives of innocent civilians in Israel. Israel. The Prime Minister also shared with me There's a ceasefire his appreciation Jonah. for the Iron Dome system, which our nations developed together Watch and which when it gets to one, lives one nine. countless Israeli citizens, like nine both Omar. Arab and Jew. I assured him of my full support to replenish Israel's Iron Dome system to ensure its defenses and security in the future. Over the last 11 days, I've spoken with the Prime Minister six times. I've also spoken with President Abbas of the Palestinian. 6-11, June 11th, 9-11, the second time. This and security in the future. Over the last 11 days, 11. I spoke with the Prime Minister six times. Mm -hmm. I've also spoken with President Abbas of the Palestinian Authority, more than once, and part of our intense diplomatic engagement. Self emotionally from this world. You lose something, you lost it. If you allow these things to compound on one another as they go, because everything in this world for you is going to collapse one piece at a time, sometimes large chunks at a time. Great. And you, son of man, prophesy against Gog and say, thus says the Lord God, behold, I am against you, O Gog, chief prince of is that Meshach, like Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, and Tubal? And I will turn you about and drive you forward and bring you up from the uttermost parts of the north and lead you against the mountains of Israel. Then I will strike your bow from your left hand and will make your arrows drop out of your right hand. You shall fall on the mountains of Israel you and all your horses, hordes, and the peoples, as eh, tough to read them little letters, who are with you. I will give you the birds of prey and birds of prey of every sort and to the beast of the field to be devoured. You shall fall in open field, for I have spoken, declares the Lord God. I will send fire on Magog and on those who dwell securely in the coastlands and they shall know that i am the lord and my holy name i will make known in the midst of my people israel and i will not let my holy name be profound anymore and the nations shall know that i am the lord the holy one of israel behold it is coming and it will be brought about declares the lord god that is the day of which I have spoken. Then those who dwell in the cities of Israel will go out and make fires and weapons and burn them, shields and bucklers, bows and arrows, clubs and spears, and they will make fires of them for seven years so that they will not need to take wood out of the field. So obviously we're at a point where there's people that believe these next seven years are coming this way. There's people that believe that the seven years are already at the ending point. It's over. So that will be the need to take wood out of the field or cut any of the forest. For they will make their fires of the weapon. They will seize the spoil of those who despoiled them and plunder those who have plundered them declares the Lord God. On that day I will give to Gog a place for burial in Israel. 